well. But when I think about Congo, when I look at Congo, I don't think about, well, you know, all the dead and all this, the, the, the sexual, the gender-based violence, all the terrible things you hear, one in five children die before the age of five years old. That misery, that suffering is real, just as real, is a tremendous and indomitable spirit that you see from Congolese people, that we see with so many of our grantees who are, who are teaching, who are building capacity with former child soldiers to help them um, find work in the economy, but people who are struggling mightily and oftentimes in the face of literal warfare um, to keep their country together. Not just keep their country together, but to, to build their country. And so I have to reject, uh, on a very basic level, this sort of pervasive notion of hopelessness uh, that exists. It, it becomes sort of fashionable to say, like in a larger sense, kind of Africa, oh well, you know, hopeless, corrupt, problematic, can't fix it. Um, you know, not 